I'm on my way to Canaan land. I'm on my way to Canaan land. The great African American folk singer Odetta adored the man. Tim Buckley and Graham Parsons idolized him. He taught Stephen Stills how to feel, musically speaking, and David Crosby how to listen, to hear music in everything. Can't you tell my mama? John Sebastian said he influenced a generation of singer-songwriters. Neil Young wrote that Fred Neil influenced a generation of musicians. I'm Peter Lee Neff, and I'm the author of That's the Bag I'm In, The Life, Music, and Mystery of Fred Neal. Back in May of 2009, I drove down to Coconut Grove, Florida to do my first interview for the book. Since that time, I've traveled coast to coast and interviewed close to 200 people. I found a story that far exceeded my expectations. I found the story of American popular music in what some consider its most formative period, the mid-50s through the 60s and into the 70s. When Bob Dylan left Minnesota for New York City, he was told to look up Fred when he got there. Well, Dylan did just that, and for the first time found himself on a coffee house stage in Greenwich Village, playing behind a man whom he described as an emperor, a musician no one could touch. It's a story of uncompromising art in the face of commerce. It's also the story of a human spirit, of rare talent, ambition, disillusionment, addiction, activism, tragedy, withdrawal and seclusion, and finally, generosity and courage. At the end, the only thing he left behind was his music, music that's still recorded today. Songs like Everybody's Talking, Little Bit of Rain, Candyman, That's the Bag I'm In, and The Dolphins. I really can't say how Fred would feel about the book. However, I do know that Fred once told a writer friend of his that it was okay to write about him, but only after he was dead. And he added, but get it right. I hope I have.